Hello everyone! This is a video part number 2 of our chat app series. And today we're going to create a custom app theme so it's easier styling our application. As you can see on the screen, I have created an app color schema and initial UI kit that we're going to use within the app. So, let's begin to develop it. First of all, we need to add some UI to our home view so we could see all our changes that we make. To do so, go to the views folder and open home.view.dart file. To save our time, I have created a sample for our UI kit since we will anyway remove it after this tutorial. This code you can get in the description under the video. So remove empty scaffold and place the code. Now save the file and you will see that sample appears on the screen. Next we can close home view file and go to the main.dart file. As you can see we have a default blue theme. So let's create our custom. Inside leave folder create style folder and create a file theme.style.dart. First import material package. Then create a class app theme and create a private constructor. I will leave an article about private constructor so you could understand what does it mean. Now create a static theme data named light theme. Next let initialize our future custom theme that we are going to use. Go to the main.dart file, remove default theme and type app theme dot light theme. Make sure that you imported the theme.style file. OK, save the file and reload the app. As you can see, nothing has changed because we didn't implement anything yet. Go back to theme.style file and let's start to create our custom theme. We're gonna start with creating app colors class and declaring all our custom colors. Type class app colors and create a private constructor. Then look at the guide on the screen and create custom colors. Let's start with red color. Type static final red color equals color 0xff. Basically it means that we are setting 100 opacity to our hex color. I will leave an article so that you can understand more about that. Then type our red hex color. Ok, awesome. Next, do the same for the rest colors on the list. Next, if we restart the app, we still won't see any changes yet. Inside theme data, let's set primary swatch to colors.yellow. If we reload now, you will see that theme has changed to yellow style. And so, even text color has changed to black. This is because primary swatch is a material color, which includes many different palettes patterns. So let's create our own material color from purple one, as on a design. Go to the material design palette generator. I will leave the link under this video. And let's create our material color. Click on the right green box and paste our purple color hexadecimal. Click choose. Rename primary with color name. Click on the view code button. Then click on Flutter Material Color button and copy the code. Finally go back and paste our code. Next we can rename color with primary swatch. Save the file. So we just create our custom material color. Now instead of colors.yellow, put our custom primary swatch. Save the file and reload the app. As you can see, now our app is using our custom theme. Looks great so far. Let's continue to implement other stuff. Since it's a light theme, set brightness to light. Scaffold background color set to white. Next, let's change app bar theme. Type app bar theme that takes app bar theme with parameters. Background color set to white. Center title set to true, foreground color set to app colors.dark purple. 
and elevation to 0. Now if we reload the app, you will see the changes. Next let's change the icon theme. Type icon theme, icon theme data and set color to app colors dark purple. If we again reload the app, you will see that icon's color changed. Finally, let's change button navigation. Type button navigation bar theme, bottom navigation bar theme data and set background color to white, elevation to zero, selected item colors to dark purple and unselected item colors to gray. Next reload the app and you will see that our navigation bar has changed. Awesome. So the last part, let's create a custom text styling because as you can see, we have many different text style and always recreating them will take longer development. So create class app text style, then again make a private constructor. Then create a static text file named regular 14 that takes color as null and return text style with font weight font weight normal font size 14 and color color or if colors is null app colors gray. Next go to the home.view file and in the first text widget type style app text style dot regular 14. If we save the file, we will see that style has been applied. Now come back to the theme.style file and paste our other text style code which you can find under this video. Well, that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. In the next video, we will integrate a Firebase into our project. Thanks for watching.